it is. Look at that. 5.49 in the morning. I made it. I feel like it's a race morning. I'm going to Pop Century to meet my friend Steve. Not heard from him yet, but we did say we meet at 6.30. Trying to get in three miles before uh, he wakes up and meets me up. But I also am a strict schedule because we have to go to the IVF doctor. I got to be out back on the road to go home at 7.15. It's super weird being here with nobody here and nothing open. All right, back in the car. That was an awesome run. It's 7.14. I'm actually, because he's a father of two and a married man of multiple years, he understands the need to keep a schedule and a promise to a time. I was supposed to run six miles today, and we went for three or three good ones because we were just chatting the whole time. A lot of running is, if you're not in a part of a running club, is very like lonely like you do it by yourself, but it's always fun because me and him text. He's from Tampa. Well, originally from New York, but lives in Tampa. We text all the time about like our current run for that day because we, we follow each other on Strava and stuff. But it was fun for them being here this weekend for the nice little weekend trip. I wanted to catch up and be like, hey, do you want to go for a quick run? Like we don't have to be serious. It doesn't have to be difficult or fast or long, but like just chill and run and chit chat. And it was, that's what we did. So we might see them later, but I got to get home. Good morning. We're so glad you're here. Free daily vlogs. If you like this video, come back tomorrow. Now. I feel it like this is going to be the, tr the the visit of all visits to our we clinic. We said that yesterday. But today's the day. <laughs> well, it's just another what intro day from... What day but today? Show our camera. Ooh, 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 it's back. I've just been updating everybody with text messages on the status. We haven't even updated you guys yet. We're back, we're back, we got the cannon back. I flew my mouth. She just shoved a bunch of chips in her mouth. Um, thank they you took, so Thank you. They so, took They took eight vials of blood. We gotta get food in you. Uh thank you so much, Bugs, for lending us yeah. your or you're so you're nice. Sony. We'll see you today. We'll see you later today. We're gonna go home and explain a little bit more. Okay. Um, but just good news, like sure oh, good shot. News, yeah, good. Yeah. We're ready to um, hit the road. We'll just but it feels so good to be back in our cannon. It just feels so right. I'm so happy. It was a fast week. It was. Time to roll. Alright, we didn't make it very far. That spot is right over there. And I'm insisting that we get smoothies because Sarah just gave all that blood and we gotta get her stocked in protein and full bellied all the time between now and Monday, right? And we also have to carry all the medicine with us to keep it from melting. Oh, Woohoo, smoothie city. This has got a bunch of peas in it. Pea protein. And peaches and, and grape juice. I don't know why I was- Yeah, Sarah made a custom <laughs> one. Peaches, grape juice, and pea protein. It's delicious. I got like lemonade and dragon fruit and runner. acai and raspberries and Fruity. strawberries. I'm gonna go home. I miss my doggy. All right, we're home. Sarah's getting the vlog already. And Sarah grabbed this vegan chorizo. So we're gonna make some Doritos with it. And here's the finished product. So the tortilla wraps were a little small, so I had some overflow and Sarah requested a pickle. But we got rice, some vegan chorizo, black beans, and Valentina in there. All right, so what we have here is we just finished those that late lunch, very early dinner, I guess, and it was very good. Sarah's taking a nap because it was a super early appointment. We had to leave at like 8, but I got up at 5.30 to go run with Steve. So Greta Showman's on. She's taking a little rest. So is Eve. I'm finishing up some laundry, just finishing the dishes, and I'm going to go clean up some others stuff around our apartment while she rests and uh, we're supposed to go see the bugs later so we'll see where the night takes us. Dishes are done. Kitchen table organized. All that stuff's going in our car for one reason or another. That's gonna go in our office. Cleaned up. Our crazy storage slash bedroom area going on over here. Much more organized. Same goes for over here. Even though it may not look like it, there is a system. And now our ironing is board is away, which has been perpetually out for weeks. Last but not least, our dresser is cleaned off. This right here is going in the garbage. It's been meaning to go in the garbage for months. 
And there's Sarah. She woke up from her rest. Well, kind of woke up. She doesn't look fully awake. <laughs> I'm awake. I also had to just go throw props out to Sarah's godmother, who made this quilt with by hand, well, with a machine. But she took many months and handpicked out each one of these, these fabrics, fabrics and made that that Mickey American flag. So it's Americana Mickey based off of a room at the bed and breakfast, a B and B. Yeah. And Marceline attached to the Uptown Theater, which is what on Main Street Uptown Jewels is named after, which is where the last Mickey short that was premiered by Walton Roy themselves was premiered in that yeah. theater. And we sit in the Mickey cool. America or the Americana room in this. Do we, have, do we have a picture of it? Can you insert yeah. it here? So that's where this is based off of, and she made it from the inspiration as like a gift to us for our wedding. And it started raining, and it looks like it's not gonna stop. It's just continuous. The phone says it's projected to be 100% between, right now it's like 540, but to be 100% between now and nine o'clock, and at nine o'clock it'll be 70%, so. Ooh, and we're getting foggy. So what did we decide just now? What time is it? 5.53? Yes, we are going to stay home. Staying home, because Sarah's little, so I think we talked about it yesterday. The whole time Sarah was on the, the stimulation medicine, it was 12 micrograms every day, mm -hmm. but because they wanted to give it one more day before we did pre-op work, they upped to 15 micrograms yesterday, so Sarah's been kind of wiped today. Yeah, it's just like the symptoms are more intense, and now like, it's so basically, I mean, I don't know like how much we want to like really talk about it, but basically like the egg retrieval, they want to retrieve as many eggs as possible, so right now my body is growing more eggs than usual. So like, because the egg retrieval soon, it's like they're the they're biggest ready they're going to go. be. And actually the, so, the I mean, shot. It's just really like, it's building up inside of me. Yeah. Um, and so we're just waiting for the retrieval, and then I'll feel back to normal again. And the thing about tonight's medicine, it's called a trigger shot because it like gets all those eggs ready to release. And our study nurse today was like, "P.S. This today's shot is gonna make you feel the worst out of any of the shots, and you yeah. won't feel normal again until Tuesday." Yeah. So because it's a two-inch needle, and we have to mix the stuff ourselves, and it's gonna be more intense. We don't know how Sarah's gonna react to mm -hmm. it. And I'm already She's feeling, already feeling more tired. Like, I have, like my head really hurts today. I mean, you just took like a two-hour nap. Yeah, so. and um, I know I'm just I am feeling it more in my abdomen. That it just it's just better we'll that home. we'll stay home. Plus, with the the weather and everything, it's just kind of like let's just be. Yeah, but we're gonna get into comfies, mm -hmm. and I think we're gonna first off we're gonna watch Vice. I think so. I just saw that Vice is on Hulu, so I think we're gonna watch Vice because we never saw it during the theaters, and we yeah. wanted to. I wanna explain like one of my like symptoms is feeling like I slept weird or like. I'm uncomfortable, but it also feels like kind of like hunger. Well, you might be hungry. It's been <laughs> I don't it's know. We six o'clock. I don't know. I just feel like I've like I've looked to food for like comfort too during that, all of that's this. That's totally possible. Um, and we have I've been doing like more protein supplements, so it doesn't really make sense that I'd be hungrier. But like I just feel like I've been turning. But your body's growing a food. lot of things right now. <laughs> True. So it needs the food. It needs the fuel. <laughs> I'm just like seeing the future. Pregnant Sarah eating. Lots of food. <laughs> Non-stop. <laughs> but we have two functioning Instagrams right now. The Baby Brookhart Project. And Sarah's updating the story with all of our new updates from today's visit. And our trigger shot news and everything. And you'll get to see some of those vials in our real lifetime 40 minutes. Alright, so don't worry. We're not going to show any needles. So if you're queasy about that, do not worry. We're not going to show that here. But I'm going to show you. So we've got our little syringe here. There's no needle on there. We have them that are detached. We're, this is different. My hair's crazy. So compared to the other study medicine, this isn't the this isn't the study medicine. This is an FDA approved. It's called Novarel. Novarel. It's an FDA approved medicine. But the trick here is you take basically saline, this liquid here. Get one cc of it in this needle. Push it into this vial of powder. Mix it all up. Take it out. Stick it in a second vial of powder. Mix it up. And then you switch to a new needle because it goes through latex rubber and just to like make it a clean syringe, you switch the syringe needles and then that's going to go in Sarah's thigh and that's going to be the last injectable we do, but it is a, the needle's like this big. I said we like to put the needle halfway in. Yeah, but it's two vials of this powdered medicine that we mix in with basically saline water. So we're going to go do that and hopefully this doesn't hurt too bad and hopefully the side effects aren't too gruesome, but we're ready for it. It's the last injectable. This is the last, last. IVF. I can't believe it already. I know. Eight days? Wild. Day 
Day nine. This is day nine. We did it. Mm -hmm. Last. This girl is so strong. Injection. That one actually hurt less than the Ganerlix. That, that was, was going intense in for me though, because I was like mixing different vials and switching needles. Imagine and if we had to do that the entire IVF, I know. like most people do. I know. Props to you. Props to everybody well, else. Anyone who's had to mix. Give this girl a thumbs up in the comment section below because this girl's a rock star. Peter also like was like, eat this chocolate. It's like Harry Potter <laughs> right, <laughs> right after. Afterwards. So I'm sorry if I have chocolate in my teeth. But we are done with injectable Good. medicine. And, okay, so 24 hours plus 12 is 36. Yeah. 36 hours until egg retrieval. Yep. So really it's, early yeah, Monday. Yeah, 7 a.m. Monday morning. We have to be there at 6.15. And then so Monday we'll find out how many eggs were retrieved. And then they'll give us all the data that we've been like in the dark on because of yeah. the study. Mm -hmm. And then Tuesday we'll get a call and find out how many fertilized. fertilized. And then Saturday, next Saturday, so like six. A week from today. Five days from when you're watching it, this video. No, six days six from when days. you're watching it. I keep getting my days mixed up. Six days from when you're watching it, we will go in for the transfer. Hold on, Eve brought me a toy. <laughs> Thank you, Evers. She brought me this toy. Ready? Good lie lie. Um, so next Saturday, we'll do the implantation. And then, the, like. It's like the technical the term is fresh embryo transfer. Yes. And then we'll just about two out, weeks. No, well, we'll also find out that day how many embryos we have to freeze for the future. Yeah. Um, and then a couple of weeks after that, we will take a blood test to find out if this all worked. She's the best. She's a rock star. And we're we're probably going to tell you earlier than the average Joe would because we're going to be honest. It's not the average Joe situation. Right, every step of the way. We still are figuring that out. Yeah, we're still so, figuring And out. you guys have always been respectful yeah. of that, so we're not worried. So everybody get ready. <laughs> All right, now can we go back to finishing this movie? Mm -hmm. And we got to figure out dinner. I <sighs> want a pizza. <laughs> Let's drop vegan. Just kidding. All right, everybody, you're about to see something frightful. And by frightful, I mean I am heading over to Publix to see about... We're going to check out. We got a, we have a hierarchy of needs here. It's all for dinner. We're only getting dinner. We need to go grocery shopping, but we don't know what the next three days entail with, like, how Sarah's going to feel and where we're going to be visiting. A lot of things going on. A lot of moving pieces. So we're just going specifically for dinner, which we're going to check out vegan pizzas, vegan frozen things, and then if all else fails, we'll do some veggie pub subs. But I'm hungry and I'm by myself. That is never a good sign for when I am at the grocery store with the intent of just getting a meal. I typically end up spending too much money, getting too much food, and being very, very happy at the end of it. All right, here we are. I just got off the phone with Sarah and we're gonna go with one of these Amy's No Cheese, certified vegan, roasted vegetables. And then we picked up one of these Against the Grains, which has a bunch of good old stuff. Oh wait, this one has different toppings, I think. No, it's the same kind of toppings. I think I'm going to take this one rather than the other one. Actually, they all look the same. I don't, I don't know. Please hold. I'm also going to pick up some protein bars because Sarah needs to be eating a lot of protein right now. Two Gatorades for myself because I'm running 13 miles tomorrow morning as my training. And I got to find... Protein bars are better, I, I feel, so far with the whole vegan thing. The vegan protein shakes are just not, like to me don't taste as good all right now in the like the vegan produce fake meat cheese section and the plan was to get these dumplings and i got the very last thai basil dumpling um but sarah doesn't know it yet but i'm definitely bringing home she's been hankering for just she misses cheese and i we've never had good luck with cheese but we've also not tried vegan cheese just cut on crackers it's tomato cayenne with spicy peppers and we're gonna give it a whirl on crackers but that's tonight. We're doing dumplings and pizza. And she's preheating the oven. And she's just the best woman that I've ever met. So this is the Amy's pizza with no cheese. It's got lots of veggies on it. it smells good. We already downed the Annie's. It was so good. Amy's. And it was so good. Now this is from Oregon. It's called Against the Grain. And they pride themselves on like this, this vegan cheddar sauce. And I think it's a cauliflower crust. Smells delicious, but I'm nervous it's not gonna be as good. You know as how we are with the vegan cheese. Yeah. Alrighty, our daily message. Every time you are tempted to react in the same old way, ask if you want to be a prisoner of the past or a pioneer of the future. 
Deepak Chopra. Both pizzas were pretty delicious. I didn't finish the half of the second one because it was just, it was way more filling than I thought it would be. But definitely give both brands a try. I think Peter hopefully showed the brands. Um, the Amy's one was definitely more just like pizza-ish and the other one definitely tastes more veggie. Um, but both good. She's got the comfiest spot in town. Oh, her eyes are closing. Okay. Look at this front paw positioning. That is a comfy pop. She's like a crescent moon. We're very sleepy. I only got four hours of sleep. You got like six. I bet I slept during the day too. Yeah. And I have to run. I'm supposed to run tomorrow. You will. I'm going to run. Well, I, I say I'm supposed to because it's on like the training schedule. Like, I don't have to. Like, I can wake up tomorrow. I'm like, no one's going to make me. But my training schedule says 13 miles, which will be the longest run I've done since Star Wars half. Thank you for all your messages yeah. today with all the... It's so exciting because today is like... It's... Today is Feels like... Feels real. Today, to me, was the final green light that we're doing IVF. <laughs> <laughs> Even though we're basically done with half of it. Yeah. We didn't know if it was, Like, we didn't know with 100% certainty that we were going to the procedure because of placebo or not being affected because we could have gotten the medicine and so it could have not reacted. Yeah. But today was like all the drama and stress and everything, not drama, but all the stresses of it all. Today was the day that we were told we're going to surgery, we're fertilizing Sign eggs, papers. we're finding eggs, we're trying to fertilize, we signed papers, pre-op, post, we got post-op paperwork and everything and like, it's real now. Like, IVF procedurally is happening. Mm-hmm. And it's so exciting. Yeah. Our family's gonna finally start. I know. Outside of our little three three year old family. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.